Network. I'm Regina, and we're here at the Monterey Regional with Team 3158 Prepa Tech TechBot, coming straight from Metepec. Today, they will be showing their robot that has a dual intake as well as a very consistent elevator. This robot has shown to be the most consistent yet in this regional. So, do you want to meet more about this robot? Stay tuned here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, feature-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Okay, so I'm here with Isel, Fer, the Mendiola brothers, Alex, and Santiago, and they will be talking about the robot. So, uh, Isel, do you want to talk about the drivetrain? Yeah, of course. Hello, everyone. So for the chassis, uh, we are using Swerve, and the measurements are 29.5 by 30 inches. And a fun fact of our chassis is that our cables are inside the tubes. So right here and right there, or inside, there are cables in there. So now Magaña is going to talk about the process of building of our robot. So first, we were inspired of how cars could absorb the impact of a crash and not damage the passenger. Uh, we were looking for something for uh, something like that, so we could uh, save all the things, all the uh, important things that the robot, our robot has. Uh, while we were building it, we didn't really have uh, a lot of money to process and machinate all the pieces, so we did it all by hand. Uh, we tried to do a very simple robot that always works, never fails. And uh, while it is simpler, uh, breaks harder and fits uh, easier. Also, something neat is uh, the bumpers we here. Uh, we have here. Uh, we don't really have two bumpers uh, for two colors. We just change it like this, like take it out and put it in, and we change to blue to red. So now uh, the Mendiola brothers are going to talk about uh, all the mechanisms that our world has. So over here. The main mechanism of this whole robot is the elevator. It has three stages and can reach up to L4. Powering this elevator, we have a transmission over here. We made it out of MDF since it's not going to take any impact and it's fairly reliable and light. Now my brother is going to talk about the intakes. Now, we decided to go with only two intakes because a simpler breaks less. First, we have our front intake, which is both for algae and for coral. It can take the corals up to L4 and it can knock out algae from the reef. And the rear intake over here can take a loose algae and put it into the processor really easy. Here, we used a NEOs instead of pneumatics or something like that. So it can be as reliable and as simple as possible. Now, uh, Alex is going to talk about programs. I think kind of the main thing that sets our robot apart is the programming, all done by my partner over here. So what's, spe what's specific and different about our elevator is, unlike most teams, we don't manually control the height. We don't, uh, with the joystick, determine if we want it halfway, we want it a little more. The levels are predetermined, they're pre-programmed, so with the click of a button, the elevator shoots up to whichever level we need and then our pilot, all he has to do is drive forward a little, uh, leave the coral where it needs to be, and that's done. For our autonomous, we used Corio program. Corio helped us to trace some paths that it's the same size of the field that we are in. We also have a lamp light that we can use it in future projects. Our light lamp will help us to adjust our position exactly where we need it. Also will help us in autonomous to be more effective in the part that it will like alone be in the position and we don't need to tell you where it's been. The robot will think and know where is it and where it needs to be. So it helps us to have 
better autonomous and better points in our match. So now let's show how our world works. Uh, here we have our intake and the elevator. Let's, let's start with that. Uh, so first, here our intake, what it, uh, why it comes up, our intake goes down. And if it goes down, uh, here, uh, this arrow uh, will hit the intake in the position uh, it needs to be. Here, we, have, we can grab the corals and just take one and also take the now. Uh, we can also take in here uh, the algae. You just push it in and then push them out. It can go up also, but mostly we, we, can, we can also score them while they are lower in the processor. So, uh, now let's talk about the commands uh, we talked before. Uh, our, ele uh, our elevator have four commands that we show right now. Our commands work is here in the pub. I have four different levels. One for the intake and one for each level of the rib. L2, L3, and L4. If I click each level, it will take it to the correspond level. In this level will be our L3 level, and also with our last button, we could get to the highest level. In here, each command, take it again over coral, switch the correct position, and we can leave it, and it enters in the best way. It also can get back to each level without damage over intake. So for the intake for the alga, so to get it from the floor, have that intake. This comes down, take the alga, eh? and then comes up, and then we move, get into the processor, and get it out. Now, for our transmission, we also made it a fall carbonate. It is a 17 to 1 transmission and when the one on one breaks, we'll replace it. Now, this is our climber assembly. Uh, the ingenious part about this is that we're using a 100 to 1 transmission in order to move these cams to pull the robot up. Right now, we're using a small Neo 550 motor for testing and in the our next, in our next, no. in our next regional, we're planning to use a Neo 1650 so it can have enough power to take a robot up. They say that consistency is key, and this robot is a living proof of it. We wish you the best of luck on the upcoming playoffs. We cannot wait to see what this robot does. Thank you so much for your time, and this was Behind the Bumpers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Kettering University's cutting-edge programs and their experiential co-op model seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds, offering hands-on, future-focused learning that empowers students to pursue new ideas and inspires other institutions to follow their lead. Don't just be ahead of the curve, create the curve. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.